Over the past two weeks, I've been testing out this Bluetooth speaker. Of course, that's when I can get it away from my wife because she is also loving this thing. Let's jump into its features and I will show you about this awesome product. In the box, you get a couple of things. Charging cable, a little carabiner, the speaker itself, and it comes with a strap to put on a bicycle, and then an auxiliary cord, 3.5 millimeter, and an instruction manual. So these are pretty self-explanatory. Let's take a look at the unit itself. On top, there is a solar panel that can be used to charge the unit while outside. The front has a logo, G-R-D-E. The audio comes from two speakers here on the front. The full case is made of a thick rubber, so it is somewhat drop resistant. There's a fabric tab on the side that can be used to attach to a backpack or something if you want to be on the go. The other side, it does have a mesh panel, but it doesn't really uh, do much from that side. There is a tab here that you can open to get to the audio jack and a micro USB that can be used for charging the unit. It uh, charges fairly quickly, believe it or not. Now let's turn over here to the back side, which is where all of the settings are. Okay, let's jump into the settings on the side here. First, you've got an indicator for battery. This will show either green for charging or it will show red for almost out of battery. Over here is the indicator for the unit is on or off. It's usually blue or kind of flashes a pink and blue color. Over here is the negative button, which will do two things. If you hold it down, it will change the volume lower, or if you just push it once, it will change to previous song. The middle button is the phone answering button. So if you're connected to Bluetooth on your phone, you can answer through that. Over here is the positive button, and that if you uh, hold it down, changes the volume up. If you push it quickly, it will go to the next song. This is the power button. You have to hold that down to turn the unit on. Over here is the flashlight button, and down here is the microphone for when you answer your phone, and down here is the flashlight. So let's run through these real quick. I'm going to go ahead and hold down the power button to turn the unit on. It'll make that noise and blink. When it's blinking, it's looking for a Bluetooth device to connect to. To turn on the flashlight, you just double tap the button real quick and that will come on. I'll show you that option in the dark here in just a bit. Then you can kind of scroll through some modes like flashing and SOS and then off. To connect to a device, I've got my iPod here and you can connect two ways. First, I'm going to use Bluetooth. Turn this on. It's going to show up as the EST60 and you just push that once and this light will go solid whenever it is ready to go. So let me play some music for you here and you can hear how loud this thing really is. So notice my volume is all the way down here. I can also change it here. <laughs> As you can tell, it's quite loud. Now it will beep whenever it has reached the maximum volume. So you can definitely tell when it's hit the top. Now I'm going to play this song. I'm going to push the positive button once and it changes the song for me. Now if Bluetooth has been turned off, you can use the provided cable here to attach to the unit. So I'm just going to stretch that out. It's about a foot and a half long, so not terribly long, but long enough. I'm going to plug that up. Now this iPod does not do well with these cables, but hopefully it'll still work here. When the unit is in the sun, it will charge. 
and it may be hard for you to see, but there is a little green light right there that indicates that it is being charged. I'm in a totally dark room to show you how bright the flashlight is. I'm going to double tap. There we go. So as you can see, it is reasonably bright and it's designed so that if you were riding a bicycle, you could see as you ride and still play music. It may not be quite bright enough for seeing more than about 15 feet, but I think in a pinch that would be more than enough. The strap system is designed so you can attach this to a bicycle handlebar. So you can just flip this around and just attach it however fits. The charging cable is just a basic USB to mini USB and plugs into that auxiliary cord and it charges in a few hours, maybe four or five hours, so not too bad. Uh, I imagine the sunshine is going to take somewhere around eight to ten hours of sun to charge this fully, but if you're out working in the sun, it will definitely keep a charge while you are listening to it. It'll play for 30 hours on a full charge battery. Um, you could use the carabiner that was provided on that loop to attach it to something and let it dangle. I have thoroughly enjoyed using this speaker and like I said, Ashley has also been using it. So uh, during my testing stages, I had to find where she was so I could get it. One thing we discovered that was a little bit annoying the last 30 minutes of battery life, it will blink or have a, a red light and then this unit makes a rather uh, annoying noise to say that it's dying. I know. <laughs> um, I think maybe if it didn't do that so often, it would be better, but it's the last 30 minutes of a 30 hour battery life. So honestly, it's not that bad. If you'd like to check out this great unit, I will link down below in the description and you can go check it out. It's a little bit expensive, uh, close to $50, but it is a good product. Um, I'm gonna be using this a lot, and I think my wife will too. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.